This week in VR news, VR Fire safety programs, human anatomy on the PSVR 2, and Roblox finally in VR. Let's jump right in. To start things off, we have this VR safety program that was recently launched by the Calgary Fire Department. This VR program aims to help educate Calgarians on how to handle real life situations in a safe and controlled manner. This is exciting because we work with Conestoga College and have developed a variety of VR firefighter training simulations for the purpose of making training more accessible, engaging, and impactful. So it's great to see that students in Calgary are positively reacting the same way towards this VR fire safety program and feel that the extra element of realism that VR has to offer goes a long way to better educate, engage, and retain the lessons and trainings that they're being taught. So really excited to hear more news on this. And if you're looking to implement VR solutions in your classroom, send us a message. Let's chat. Next, popular VR education app Human Anatomy is now available on the PSVR 2. There aren't a ton of educational apps on the PlayStation Store yet, but now the creators of Human Anatomy VR have released their medical educational tool on the PSVR 2. So it's always great seeing VR education apps becoming more widely available and accessible. And if you have a PSVR 2, it might be worth your time to install the game and have fun learning about the human body in VR. Now lastly, Roblox is now available to try on the MetaQuest VR headsets. Roblox and Meta had announced early in July that the social metaverse platform would be arriving on the headset soon, and now you can try it out for yourself. The app is still in open beta testing, so there are still some issues that Roblox is actively working on, but I'm sure that won't stop all of you Roblox fans that have been waiting to play this game in VR. That's it for this week's VR recap. We'll see you guys again next week. Peace.